This is a video showing when to change out a pH probe for a pH amplifier set. The sensitivity of pH electrodes will decrease as they age. How quickly they age will depend on how they're stored and how they're used. For instance, if a pH probe is stored in a solution that does not have the proper ions in it, the active ions will leach from the glass, will cause the responsiveness of the probe to decrease more quickly. This lower responsiveness means that a lower voltage response will occur for the same change in pH. As the maximum voltage response range decreases, the sensitivity and resolution of the sensor probe combination will drop. Within SparkView, you can select the calibration of the sensor and then select pH. Once you've done that and you've selected calibration, you can click on continue and then within this calibration screen, it will show the sensor values at each of the standard values for which you place the pH probe into the buffered solutions. From these values of the voltage produced from the probe, you can see what the sensitivity of the probe is. To quantify this, I've displayed the data within our PASCO capstone software. The vertical axis shows the pH, and the horizontal axis shows the millivolt output of the probe at the different pH levels. When a pH probe is first delivered, the range shown here is roughly equivalent to what will be available. This equation shows the way that the resolution of the pH sensor is determined, taking into account the range of pH of the different buffer solutions that are used, divided by the maximum range of the millivolts that are output by the probe at these extreme pH levels. Running it through these calculations, the initial values that are available from the pH probe are placed into this graph. So as delivered, the pH probe and its amplifier box are capable of outputting a resolution of approximately 0.17 pH units. But as the pH probe ages, the total range that's available from that probe when placed in pH 10 buffer and pH 4 buffer will start to decrease. Because this range of voltages gets smaller, the resolution of the sensor begins to get larger as the sensor is able to resolve smaller changes of pH less and less well. So again, as the probe ages, the range will decrease and the resolution will increase. And ultimately, the user will need to determine what is the maximum resolution that can be tolerated for this probe once that maximum resolution has been reached, then the user will need to replace the pH electrode.